Hello everyone, it's Faith again and welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm going to do another review and wear test on the Maybelline Fit Me um, line. The Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless line of Maybelline. And it is uh, these three right here. Katulad ng L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte, matagal ko na din gustong bilhin to. Pero yung pang nag lang ako na mag-sale. It's a good thing that when I bought this, naka 25% off sila. So, I only paid $299 from $399. So, ayun. By the way, I am in the shade 120. This could be too light for me, but it's okay. I can always fix it with the bronzer. And on the powder, I am in the shade 220. Para naman, if this is too light, I can also correct the shade using this powder. And for the concealer, I am in the shade 20 Sun Sable. Ganito yan guys ha. On my right side of my face, I will be applying a primer. And then, I will apply the foundation using a brush. And on the left side, I will not apply a primer but I will apply the foundation using a damp sponge. And then we will set our entire face with this powder. So let's start. Ang sabi, ang sabi dito, hindi mo daw dapat ginaganyan, dapat tap daw. Pero parang ang tagal mong matapos daw pag tap ka lang ng tap. <laughs> so this is the foundation. Wala siyang pump, kaya I don't like this kind of packaging. Yung bang nasasayang yung products pag hindi mo makontrol, yung paglabas ng, ayan, it is liquidy as, oh, naparami. Parami. Ayan, kaya na sinabi ko, naparami yung kuha ko. Hindi mo makokontrol. Dinahan-dahan kung dinadahan, dinad Dinadahan-dahan ko nga yung paglabas nun eh, pero ang dami pa rin. Okay. In fairness, hindi siya runny. Katulad lang siya nung sa ano, ha? Puti nga. Okay lang yan. We will fix that. Can you see on the camera, guys? Ang ganda ng coverage niya din, no? Mas my coverage yung L'Oreal Infallible kisa nito. So, that is one side of my face with one layer of foundation. Kaka-facial ko palang pala guys. Kaya ayan, may scars pa. Pero wala na tong laman. And, ayan. I will add on the areas that needs more coverage like on this part and on this part. So, I will add Yung konti lang talaga. Yung konti lang kinuha ko. And then, ito ko i-add. Oh! Kikita nyo ba yun, guys? Nawala. Nawala na yung kailangan takpan. Okay na ako sa coverage na yan. Okay na ako dyan. So, it is buildable and hindi naman siya kiki. So far. And it is easy to blend in fairness, matte and poreless. For the pores, it blurs, pero meron pa rin, but it blurs. So, okay na yan. Now, let's go to the left side. May natira pa. Itong gagamitin ko. By the way, guys, wala tong SPF. Kaya, we will test it under flush photography later. By the way, this foundation targets normal to oily skin. So, I have normal to oily skin. So, I guess this is perfect. O nga pala, guys, ang claim nito, it mattifies and refines pores. Yes, mat nga siya. Pero hindi siya mat na flat. Katulad lang din ng L'Oreal. Kasi yung nakikita nyo, may sheen pa rin. It is, it matches natural tone. Medyo maputi yung nakuha ko. 
natural seamless finished and yun. that is one layer foundation applied with a damp sponge and this side is unprimed yeah yeah hindi niya pa to natatakpan no mas may coverage if you apply the foundation using a brush kaya if you want na flawless talaga and with more coverage kasi mas marami kayong tatakpan use a brush but kung sobrang flawless na ng mukha mo go for the sponge kasi mas natural tingnan yung sa sponge okay i will add just a tiny bit natakpan ko rin dito kasi parang may may nagbabalak tumubo <laughs> As you can see, natakpan niya din. So, it is really buildable even using a sponge. Ha, ha, ha. I'm going to set all the concealers using the RCMA No Color Powder na lang din. For the entire face, I'll set it using this powder. By the way, this is the packaging of the powder. And that is the product. And dito yung mirror niya. Yan. Tapos may sponge niya sa loob. But I'm not gonna use the sponge. I'll use a powder brush. And guys, that is my whole face using the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless line. Ito pala is just Maybelline Fit Me, hindi to poreless. I'll just quickly finish the rest of my face and then I'll get back to you. Hi guys, I'm back and na test ko na din itong foundation under flush photography and without flush and I can say I love this more than the L'Oreal Infallible kasi wala tong flashback. May flashback man pero kaunting kaunti lang so ayan. I'm going to insert clips here so with flash and without flash. I will be out for the entire day and I'll try to wear this foundation for a maximum of 10 hours and I will do some random check-ins throughout the day para makita nyo. As I was saying, I will try to wear this foundation for a maximum of 10 hours and I will do some random check-ins throughout the day para makita natin kung um, at what time siya nag start oil. Up. And guys, this is my face in natural lighting. I'm facing my window and naka off yung lights ko sa room. And then ayan. Oh nga pala nag-apply ako ng highlighter on my nose area and on, on this side, okay. alam ko kung ano yung oil na oil talaga compared to this na highlighter lang. Kaya yan. I'm loving this foundation so far. So far. Hello everybody! I'm home! Kakawi ko lang from work and it's already 5.23 in the afternoon. So if you can hear background noises pala, it's my aircon kasi sobrang init tsaka init din itong lights. 
and then someone is fixing our lababo. Someone is fixing the sink in my bathroom. Kaya alam niyo na talaga maingay. So, anyways, let's get back to the review. As you can see, my face is a bit oily. Um, yung sabi ko a bit kasi ano yan ni? Singot. Ano ba yung? It's I'm sweating. Kagagaling ko ngalang from work, so I'm sweating. Tanggalin ko lang yung sweat ha. Yeah, ang daming transfer. Ah, you cannot see. Tito kaya sa layo. Sa layo. See? My transfer. Okay. Now, I'm done drying. So, as you can see, okay lang naman. Maganda pa rin yung coverage ng foundation. I have a mirror here, ha? Let me check. Um, it's breaking just a tiny bit around my nose and dito oh, in this area parang naging cakey siya but now after 10 hours pa rin to ah, kasi let's say 7.30 kasi ako umalis kanina I mean natapos hindi ko napakita yung oras I'm sorry but I applied this foundation more or less mga 6.50 7 ganun but it's now 5.30 so more so more or less 10 hours of wear na din ito more than 10 hours I guess and it's still looking pretty good as you can see dito nag fade lang ng konti yung coverage niya kasi ano na nakikita na yung mga blemishes ko and then on this side Hindi pa naman. May konting itatakpan ako dito. Pero konti lang. Pero mas marami dito. Ayan, nakikita na. On this area right here, it's cakey. And it's breaking around my nose. And then, it's cakey also here. Lapit ako ha. Ayan. Nakikita nyo ba? Teka. Nakikita nyo ba? Parang naging cakey on that area. So, yun, verdict. I like the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte more than this one because the oil control of that foundation is amazing. The oil control of this foundation is also good, but the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte is better. I'm not okay, for the pros, this foundation retails for 399 pesos. This foundation retails for 399 pesos. And palagi nagsisilang mi I got it for only 299 pesos. Next, the shades are good. They have wide range of shades. Marami yung shades na nakikita ko dun, so it will suit a lot of skin color. Then, it targets to normal to oily skin. So, if you have normal skin, that this foundation is good for you. If you have oily skin, this foundation is also good for you. And if you have dry skin, I saw Coffee and Sparkle by Mimi's review of this foundation. And she likes the foundation. So, I guess it's okay for dry skin as well. Longevity is yes, it's okay. Naging cakey lang, pero anjan pa rin. Blendability, yes, it's also really good. If you want a more natural look, apply the foundation with a damp sponge. It's still good. And if you want more coverage, apply it with a brush. It is also good. And then what else? That's it. For the cons, I do not like the packaging. As in, it sucks. Pag hindi mo kinokontrol kasi minsan iba may... Especially me, if I get ready in the morning, minsan, um, I'm talking over the phone or I'm watching YouTube. Kaya I'm just, you know, we all have our clumsy moments and I do not I do not like the packaging. As in, it helps me to get more clumsy. Parang ganun. And then, I think the, the only con for me is the packaging. Kasi, 10 hours naman na kasi ito. Kaninang lunch when I check in, pasensya na pala kung wala akong, hindi ako nagsasalita during lunch time kasi sobrang noisy din dun sa office kasi lahat kami andon and then lahat kami parang may ginawa. Tapos may construction pa ng building sa katabi namin kaya talagang sobrang ingay kaya nilapit-lapit ko lang yung face ko but hindi siya nag-break out kaninang lunch considering that it's already 5 hours of wear so it is good. The longevity is nice pa rin. Naging cakey lang siya on this side. That's because napagpawisan talaga ako ng sobra. 
sobra. And then, yun lang. I think this foundation is good for the price. 399 pesos. It's worth it, guys. So, I think um, you will not waste your money if you decide to buy this foundation so that's all guys that's my thoughts on this review i hope you like this video and if you did please don't forget to give it a thumbs up before you leave comment and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already thank you so much for watching and i'll see you on my next video bye Mwah.